JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, family struggles with Jamaican's murder in Trinidad and Tobago. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The family of a 28-year-old Jamaican who was killed in Trinidad and Tobago over a week ago is not ruling really out the possibility that his death could have been related to a deadly gang war in his Bentley Lane, Kingston community, although they have not been getting much information on his killing. Akeem Thompson was shot dead last week Thursday night in Diego Martin in the Twin Island Republic. He had reportedly gone to visit a friend in the Four Roads area when on leaving the house, he was shot several times. A medical officer declared him dead at the scene. His mother, Andrea Nation, said that she is struggling to get any information on the murder that may lead to closure, having lost another son nine years ago in Jamaica. Yesterday, she was not ruling out the possibility that the deadly gang war in Bentley Lane, which has claimed many lives, could be at play offshore. Not ruling out anything, not saying it is, and not saying it's not. That's why I want to know, Nation said. They have link over there, but we don't know, another relative said. Akim's brother, Nigel Thompson, of a Bentley Lane address, was shot dead by police along with Carl Nation, a relative, on neighboring Moore Street on August 25, 2012, as they were reportedly heading home from a party. Both were 18 years old. Details of that shooting were not released. However, the police say a Taurus 9mm with the serial number erased and the three 9mm rounds were seized during that incident. Andrea said that she wanted a different life for Akeem and encouraged him to migrate to Trinidad and Tobago. The plan was to move him away from the violence. He was working at a supermarket over there, she said in a soft tone, with tears streaming down. Her cousin said that Akeem was all about his two-year-old son and his job, which he has maintained since leaving Jamaica. He has a baby there. He wanted to get married and come to Jamaica, come and look for us and go back, she said. Akeem's older sister said that the family was not taking his death easy. We're taking it hard. We're trying to hold up, she said, as a weeping Andrea was being consoled by family and friends. Akeem had everything good. Him not keep friends, him not party. Just some work to home. He's always smiling, and on the relative said. According to the family, Akeem did not mention any disputes he was having with anyone in Trinidad and Tobago. Although since his death, they have been hearing reports of possible tension with some in-laws. The family is frustrated that credible or official information is not forthcoming as we are finding it hard to dialogue with investigators in another country. They are making plans to fly his body home to Jamaica for burial. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.